In today's video, we're opening the brand new Battles of Legend, Chapter 1. What's up guys, we're back with another video opening brand new Yu-Gi-Oh sets and this is one of those sets where it's just too big for me to show the entire thing on camera unless I hold it up here and then it's super reflective. So it's, oh okay, it's not too bad, but uh, pretty tough to actually show this thing off. This is a new set, it's a reprint set. It reprinted a lot of cards that we may or may not have needed, but let's open it up. So I will be opening this entire, whatever you call this thing, display. I think there's a bunch of those little mini boxes in there. They have like dice usually. I haven't looked a ton into this product because I have not been excited about this product at all. But I did see they reprinted Absolute Zero and Secret Rare, so I'm not completely against it. So let me crack this open. We'll get right into it. We do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away every card we pull in this video. So there's gonna be a lot of cards a lot of dice, stuff like that. You can win everything. Just like the video, be subscribed to our notifications. Let me know down below what you think about Battles of Legends Chapter 1. Is it a good reprint set? Is it worthless? Or are there a few nice little pieces in there that make it not terrible? All right, I've gotten all the boxes out. Uh, they are very reflective, so I'm pushing them over to the side so there's not some crazy reflection going on. Honestly, this thing looks really awesome. And by the way, excuse my hair. I know it looks like I just woke up. Spoiler alert, I did just wake up, but we got to do this opening. Battles of Legend Chapter 1, and I, I'm not, okay, here's the thing. I'm not, I, I told you already, I wasn't excited about this product. The packaging is pretty cool looking. I mean, it's complete waste of space like they always are when they do these like Chapter 1, Season 1 kind of things. There's like two, probably two packs and a promo and a die in there, so it doesn't need to be this big. But the box looks really cool. I mean, they're, they're going to convince some people to buy this with the packaging, which they might regret it, but we'll have to see. We're going to open it up first ed first edition. I, I, don't, I just don't understand how you reprint cards in like first. It's kind of kind of confusing. Okay, here we go. Battles of the Legend. Let's just start it off. Enough of that. Let's see. The The thing I was really not happy about about this set is they're reprinting the Astral Utopia. Though I did see they reprinted it in Ultra. So it's not terrible then. It's like, okay, sure. They put in another rarity. They didn't reprint the actual high rarity, I don't think. Could be wrong about that, but I saw it was in Ultra. So if it's just in Ultra, that's, that's not a big deal, I don't think. I mean, sure, it was a unique rarity, which made it cool. So it's still kind of weird, but at least it's not the same rarity. Okay, we have a die first. Where is the... There it is, Cyber Dragon, okay, that's pretty awesome. Cyber Dragon die looks really good. Okay, sorry, it was so dark. I forgot to turn up some of my lights. Okay, let's see what else is it. Wait, there's no promo in these? Oh, there is a promo, there it is. Okay, I was like, there's no promo. Neos Wiseman. All right, so we have a secret rare Neos Wiseman. That'll be part of the giveaway as well. I'm gonna say that because I know a lot of times I say I'm giving away all the cards and they still message me about cards. So uh, these are not for sale. These are all part of the giveaway, which speaking of, I am caught up on the giveaways. I'm so pumped right now, but you might not be caught up on the giveaway. So make sure you go to the community tab, see if you want anything, see if you want a giveaway and send me an email, writingrex34 at gmail.com. All right, enough yapping. I've been yapping entirely too long to start this game. Here we go. I'm going to get game. What am I talking about? I told you I just woke up. Okay. Skullgar. We got Grimaju Day Eyes. Let's see if there's anything cool. Cyber Eltonin. That's cool. Ooh. Fusion Destiny, first of all. I rushed a special with that one. We have an E-Emergency Call. That one used to be really expensive. It's secret. Probably a good reprint. There's a comment after that. Is there only one foil in here? Wait. No, there's a, oh, the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Okay, so this gets a reprint out of uh, Battles of Legend Armageddon. So it was only a matter of time before this got reprinted. The secret was really expensive, so not surprising they reprinted that. And what a weird order. They have ultras just spaced throughout. It looks like they stopped doing the colored names, which is a great thing because the colored names, I mean, whoever wanted a colored name card, not me. So Sky Striker Afterburners, we have White Aura Dolphin, Vision Release. So is it three ultras per pack? Okay, Shining Flare Wingman. Okay, what did they do? Because this looks like a silver name. So maybe it's silver name and gold name is the two options. Silver name ultra. Now, that's just confusing. Okay, now this is just weird. I don't even know what to do. Okay, so uh, they, I guess, have silver name and ultra or gold name ultras, which is better than like purple and all that crap. But still confusing. People are going to be like, is this a misprint? You know, maybe it is a misprint. I might be opening a misprint right now. I don't think it is. Minimum Ray. Uh, we have Cannon Falcon. We have Quick Launch. There's a gold. So if this is silver after this, then we'll know. Vision Hero Vion, a lot of cool hero stuff. TG Drillfish. We have an extra hero wonder driver that is silver, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
and then an evil storm exoton knight so i did notice that exoton knight did have some somewhat it was like 10 bucks or something so makes sense that they reprinted that all right next one here's the problem or one of the problems i have with these kind of sets which it feels like they're kind of slowing down i feel like this might be the last one they ever make because they're just not great i don't love that there's not really anything exciting to pull you pull secret rare out of the promo which is great and you know, the promos are awesome the packs are super boring like before they had the weird color stuff now they have a secret name or gold silver name ultras whatever you want to call them that's kind of it so it's like you know the reprints they better have good reprints because there's nothing interesting to pull outside of that it's like it better be a good reprint okay we have a big eye secret didn't there wasn't there already a big eye secret maybe not i mean there's an ulti oh, there was an ulti and a secret in the original print maybe there was i don't know 25th anniversary battles of legend so i mean not a very exciting 25th anniversary set i mean right everything else i'm gonna go sideways on these because, I mean, what are we excited to pull, really? We're just looking at reprints. We have Stratos. Alternate art reprint. So, I think it's the first time since Maximum Gold. That's pretty nice. People don't like Maximum Gold. They like the alternate art. I really like the original art more, but I think it's a cool-looking card anyway. We have Witch Raider. Rudder Strix. We have the Tuspla. Okay, here's a nice one. Number 90. This is a card that I don't think had a reprint. I think it was just, like, 50 bucks or something. So, that's one that needs to be reprinted. We have Stratos and Silver Name. Not gonna lie, the Silver Name Ultra does look pretty good. It's just gonna be really confusing for other people who are hopping in. They're gonna be like, I thought Silver Name meant secret. Nope, doesn't mean that anymore. So we have a total of 16 packs to open it, which is not a lot, but I mean, opening all these packaging is gonna really you know, slow it down. Sage with Eyes of Blue could use a reprint. It was like a $10 secret. We have uh, a Cyber Dragon with Silver Name and a number 77 to 7 sandwich. So we're just adding a new rarity for Cyber Dragon. Galaxy has Photon in common. That is so weird. And oh, Utopia the Lightning in common. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see what die did we get this time? That's the only reason I'm doing these individually is so we can reveal the die and the promos and stuff without me seeing them first. Okay, so we have a promo of the Time Lord. Okay. And then two packs, and then we got... I feel like, did we even look at the last die? We have a Salaman Great Almirage. There we go. Yeah, wait a second. Where's my die? You're not guaranteed to die. Oh, there it is. I almost threw it away. I found it. Another Almirage. So not that crazy, but okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. I almost forgot one of the main staples in this product. Probably because it's not that exciting. I mean, the dice are kind of cool, but okay. Pankratops is cool. We have a, okay, Boral Guard Dragon. Is that a good card? I don't think it's that great. We have a Dogger and the Mad Flame Kaiju in Silver Name Ultra. Flying Elephant, what card is this? Okay, Dumbo got a card. I didn't know that that existed. That's probably an old card that I didn't know about. Wow, unusual for me to see cards I've never seen. We have Dangerous. That was a fun card in Duel Links for a while. It was a little dangerous, you could say. Can we pull something awesome? We have Dark Spell Regenerator, Celestia. That's good for the Lights One stuff coming out. Decimator, ne Neos Alias, Cactus Bouncer, another Cyber Dragon. We have Vision Hero, Witch Raider, Vision Fusion. We have Vision Hero, Adoration. A lot of Vision Heroes. Sage of the Blue, Eyes of Blue. We're gonna have a full playset. You Bell that needed a reprint big time. The Ultimate Nightmare. Very nice. Number 84, because all that You Bell support and stuff. Phantom Knight Fog Blade. Remember when that was a good card? I don't think it's so good anymore based on the price. So far, we've got some cool stuff. Uh, no absolute zero yet. I guess it's a promo because it's a secret rare. I hit my mic. Sorry about that. Hopefully, we will get one of those. I mean, you guys will be getting it. Somebody in the giveaway. So make sure you enter that because the giveaway. I'm caught up. I'm super excited about it. Okay, we have a... Oh, this is a new one. What is this? Oh, a PLS. That is amazing. Okay, BLS die. I don't know why it's... I guess Blacklister Soldier, but I don't know. I always associate ritual colors, I guess, just because it's a ritual. Okay, what is this? Neos Wiseman, not the card we're searching for. Okay, chapter one. Neos Wiseman, though, I, di I didn't say does need a reprint majorly because it was like a $20 Ultra and Legendary Collection GX in Unlimited. So ridiculous. Vision Hero, U-Bell. There we go. There's the U-Bell reprints. That's how they're selling this product. People need U-Bell reprints. They're going to buy it for that. Chaos Emperor Dragon's cool as well. Exton Knight. So looks like they are simply like, hey, look. Oh, Sunrise is a common. And then Neos Knight, they're like, hey, we got U-Bell stuff. Come buy it. Battles of Legend Chapter 1, which, why was it not in the set with you, Bell, on the cover? Don't know. <laughs> Probably because that was a core set and didn't do reprints, so, but still, still painful. We have a Trinity, we have a Flash Charge Dragon, X Dawn Knight, we have TG Drill Fish. We've got a Quick Launch and a Boral Sword Dragon. Okay, we got Bambi after that. Not quite dead yet. Sorry, Bambi fans. Okay, we have number 39. All right, we're halfway through. Here we go. Four boxes, eight packs, four die, four promo. Can we get a absolute zero? Surely that was actually a real thing and it wasn't fake that I saw, right? Okay, Cyber Dragon again. Can't complain about that. I like the purple. It looks really good. 
Okay, Gamma Seal. That's pretty decent. Nice Kaiju. They're getting some Kaiju upgrades here. Battles of Legend Chapter 1. Let's go. Glorious numbers. We have Lumina. We have number 77th and 7th Sin. That is a Tongue Twister. Preparation of Rites. Cyber Dragon again. That's three of those. Oh, and the alternate art. So, Legendary... Here's the sad part for me. Legendary Collection GX, as well as Raw Yellow Mega Pack, are getting decimated right now. Recently, those a lot of those sets have been absolutely crushed by reprints, which they used to be super value. Not so much when they're reprinting all the alternate arts and stuff out of there. All right, second pack, Gold Moon Coin, Hibernation Dragon, Multiply Guy. We got Orgoth the Relentless. These are out of uh, Light's Revenge, I think. So, a lot of Revenge cards being reprinted. Vanity's Fiend. Extra Hero Wonder Driver. We have Minerva with the reprint. Okay. Pretty cool. Dustin Hero Dustopia and Steam Synchron. All right. We got three boxes left. I croaked there a little bit. Voice is feeling a little croaky because I just woke up. So don't worry, guys. You know, if in the first like couple hours after I wake up, my voice just has to warm up. So I usually try to record after that. But sometimes you got to record early when there's a big because, you know, you guys are seeing this the day of. So like the day I get it, I think maybe it might be tomorrow. Eh, not totally sure today or tomorrow one of the two all right orange die i haven't seen this by the way black closer soldier reprint that's cool uh okay big eye number 11 i think is what no, we saw it earlier uh we have black closer soldier soldier of chaos beautiful card uh reprinted that originally was in battles of legend it was the green one i think oh, i can't remember i think it was basically the black closer soldier was the big card uh six time stream not six stream too many sixes in that other one we have the flying elephant again Raid Raptor, we have the Jizukiru, the Star Destroying Kaiju, Destiny Hero Malicious. Malicious getting a reprint, another hit on Legendary Collection GX and Raw Yellow Mega Pack, but good because that was an expensive card. All right, next pack. So far, I'm not super impressed. You know, I mean, we do uh, look if you do like the set and you want to get some, I do have a link down below. You can get some of Sassy Auto. Cyber Dragon, my voice is graveling up right now. Don't do it. Number 77, we have Miracle Rapture. Just got to talk louder. <laughs> That's how it works. Okay, Prism, another big reprint. This was like an $8 common before in Raw Yellow Mega Pack and GX. All right, next box. Uh, if you do want to grab some, I do have a link down below. I've got 5% off of Sassy Auto. You guys can grab it, though I'm not going to tell you that this is the best set ever or anything. If there's cards you see in here that you want to potentially pull, go for it. Overall, doesn't seem like an awesome set, you know, kind of like these are. The thing is, I think these are like 15 bucks per per box, I think. Could be 10, but I'm pretty sure it's 15. Like on the on the retail side, I'm not totally sure. We have, okay, we have Fernal Divisor. Okay, I think that's, I think heroes use that. Oh, oh, green, 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 green. Is this a rare die? Oh, Stratos, that's the best one yet. I love green, favorite color. Stratos, amazing. There's a lot of different cool ones in here. Cyber Dragon, Black Ops Soldier, Stratos, that's amazing. Okay, yeah, so, and yeah, as I was saying earlier, I don't really like this kind of set because there's not anything really interesting um, in terms of like pulling, you know, it's cool that you get the die. I love that. That's one of my favorite things about it. The promos are cool, but then the packs themselves are just lame. So uh, Minerva again and reprinting the, you know, the God, like not the God cards, the uh, the prize cards. Sure, that's kind of cool. But at the same time, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just kind of lame, you know, because of the prize card. So I don't know. It's not my favorite set ever. I don't I don't really love these kind of sets. Though I will say this set does have some good cards and some good reprints in it. So it's not like the worst I've ever seen. It's not like there's nothing worth pulling in here. So it's not as bad, honestly, as I was expecting. Galaxy Soldier is pretty good as well. We have Doggeran and Gimmick Puppet. So it's not like a complete no-go. Like if you see it and you want some cards in here, it's not like don't get it. You know, it's, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. Though it is not really like super value for your money. You're not, it's not like uh, open and you might pull a $500 card. That's definitely not going to happen. Definitely nothing that expensive in here, but you might pull something that you actually really want. So, you know, if you, and you you've seen what I pulled, you can go look at the card list. Make sure you check that out before you buy, you know, packs and stuff that there's something you actually want. So overall, honestly, it's exceeding what I expected, which I had the lowest possible expectations. I was expecting hit an arsenal, stuff like that. Another big guy dies. So that's not that crazy. Last promo. Come on. Absolute zero. Ah, cyber. Cyber Slash Arby Lady, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was ready to trash this as like the worst set ever. I, it's honestly not the worst set ever. I, it's probably better than than the Legendary Duelist sets, you know, like Legendary Duelist, uh, what was the last one? Soul Burning Volcano? Probably better than that. Probably better than Duelist from the Deep. Probably better than, than Sacro Storm. I mean, that's not saying much, but <laughs> it's probably better than those. Number 90, see, that's a good reprint. Vision Hero Fusion, Twilight Ninja. Oh, Ruxin Special. 
Harpy Perfumer. Last one was the Lost Art, I think. Uh, Minerva, the third third one of those. We have not gotten a Utopia yet. I don't know if that's short printed or what. Cyber Emergency is a good card as well. There's just a lot of decent cards in here, which is what you want to see from a reprint set. Though we're getting a lot of reprint sets, so that's kind of why I'm like, we don't need these. You know, we got Rarity Collection 2 coming up, all that stuff. So that's kind of the negative against it. Hibernation Dragon, a little boring to open, stuff like that. Uh, Multiply Guy, Nightmare, Galaxy Soldier. We have Radiant. A lot of the Kaijus getting upgrades. That's kind of cool, actually, because a lot of them are commons or rares. So that's awesome. Doc's getting hit. Our favorite set, Dimension of Chaos. So the rare is going to be worth less. And then E-Emergency Call. So overall, honestly, I can't hate on it as much as I really wanted to. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And if you are interested, we do have a link down below. It's not great, but it's not as bad as I thought. So hopefully we don't get more of these sets just because they're a little weird. Maybe we could figure out a way to put these die into the market in a different way. I don't know. So let me know what you think down below. Do you agree that it's uh, with me and that's kind of meh? Or do you think it's great? Do you think it's terrible? I want to hear in the comments. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Anana Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.